dear friends this is srinivasan who is having more than 30 years experience in the construction industries trying to present you the key points to be observed in an architectural and structural drawing of an residential projects necessity for checking of the drawing often it was noticed the site engineer requires drawings for a particular work from the architect the architect consultant might be in the preparation of the drawing in turn delaying the work due to the non availability of the drawings once on site the drawings are not studied checked in detail due to the workload the execution of the work then begins as per the available drawings as a result printing mistake or those caused by a sheer oversight may result in the demolition and rectification of the works at a later stage therefore pre checking and a detailed study of the drawing is a must to avoid any problems or any rectification the engineer should ask the drawings from the architect or the consultants well in advance drawings received in advance can accommodate necessary changes for a better planning as per the site conditions and the requirement as architects has its own style of working but the engineer expectations of detailing might be universal in particular organization this can be done provided the construction companies give the standard guidelines regarding the details required for each and every while preparing the first drawing the architect will put up the details as per the given specifications to avoid rejections or repeated mistakes in the drawing practical experience shows that many civil engineers face difficulties during the execution of the work at site due to lack of sufficient detailing in the drawing these factors emphasize the need for a detailed efficient completion of the project this is a general layout drawing which has been shown at layout drawings for a projects name plate as specified forms project name title subtitle and scale north direction is to be marked boundaries as per the latest site demarcations existing tree locations existing bore well electrical pole telephone pole and other facilities apartments etc has to be marked in the drawings this has been shown in the drawing adjoining images layout drawings it is a continuation it has to, it consist it must consist existing tree locations existing well bore well electrical pole apartments and etc everything has to be marked building setbacks other buildings or structure obstructing the existing structure sufficient setback or septic tank form etc etc this is a drawing which shows how the detail has been provided for the the drawing should consist of road septic tank ug tank bore well pump room god and transformer room and other facilities check the sizes of septic tank ug tank in consultation with the plumbing consultant rls of road map plinth level parking garden top step details etc etc has to be provided in the drawing location of the compound wall front gate size and type of the compound wall has to be provided in the drawing expansion joint if necessary is to be provided at a required distance layout for a temporary structure also to be checked any temporary structure such as site offices steel yard material yard etc sh- should be noted properly for any obstruction in the construction i am here showing you how the central line drawings has been prepared and given
all this structure to be centrally located as far as possible watchman compound should be near the gate sizes of all the structures in the projects has to be marked the structure should be in a open space or as directed by the architect without disturbing for a period of 2 years size of the buildings in layouts to be as per working drawing or as per approved drawing structure height has to be identified whether it is g plus 2 g plus 3 etc along with the parking details and everything this drawing shows you how all the things has been marked in that working drawings the following points has to be observed while checking the working drawings north direction name plate as per specified format project name title etc size as per printed brochures flat numbers as per the sales brochure brick block work convention chajia terrace level should be shown in the dotted lines levels with respect to temporary benchmarks for all plans of plinth parking etc etc this drawing shows how it has been all the things have been marked decent working drawing direction of the door opening has to be marked direction of the bath and wc door opening has to be marked duct dimension and open dimension has to be given column reductions eros center line checking size of the column at the footing level all open duct space and staircase details all room sizes as per the sales brochure wall thickness column reduction source here in the adjoining drawings i show you how the room dimensions and the door openings windows openings has to be marked in the working drawing in working drawing dotted line for chajias rolling shutters etc has to be marked kitchen water with the uh, sink sizes loft position and width balcony wc and bath drop that is a sunken slab all windows door framing rolling shutter etc has to be marked in dato specification detail in brief such as is it a 230 mm brick or 115 mm brick etc etc sunk shown should be totally shaded terrace drains sloping pattern rain water direction and everything has to be marked in the drawing nicely overhead water tank positions lift room position has to be marked in the drawing which has been shown in the adjoining drawing in in a working drawing lift shaft sizes has to be given staircases padidi thickness has to be given riser and thread of staircase has to be given parking drawing physical movement of the vehicle has to be marked column position as per the rcg drawing washing place location in the parking entrance details for a uh, plain side flats meter cabinet locations you can see the adjoining drawing shows all the details sectional drawings levels of all shops plain parking at every level has to be marked road to parking entry details floor to floor heights sunk details parapet height and finishes details of a staircase cape and machine rooms plaster details of all corners has to be provided floor to floor height level this is a sectional drawing will give you the rough idea how it is to be look around in the section structural drawings following points to be noted in the structural drawing to be read as per the working drawing check the steel at cantilevers etc is the sunk slab is for the as per the architectural drawing headroom at specific level double for adjoining structure details of column below overhead water tank check elevational features inverted beams for a wc bathroom etc loft details floating column details terrace level chajias details 
reinforcement at critical points. <coughs> the adjoining structural drawing will indicate how the drawings are. <coughs> Thanking you for watching this presentation. Kindly subscribe, like and share which will motivate me for a good presentations. In case of any who queries, do not hesitate to write to me. The response will be at the earliest. Images courtesy is the Google Images. You can contact me at civilconclave at the rate of gmail.com or at my telegram group, Austrini Telegram Groups, for which the link has been provided at the bottom. Thank you once again. Enjoy the presentation.